Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Knights of Valeria. This will be the first video in my kind of like an update series on Dragon Knights of Valeria 2. Yes, yes, that's right, Dragon Knights of Valeria 2. Um, I'm basically redesigning the entire game. I'm, uh, I'm rewriting everything. I'm using bits and pieces of the, uh, the current code to make it easier on me, stuff that's, uh, PHP 7 compatible, but uh, this new version is a, it's not only a different theme, but it's an entirely different uh, base, I guess. Like, uh, the current version is mainly just CSS and uh, HTML5 and a shit ton of PHP. Very, very little uh, actual JavaScript is being used in game right now, but uh, this new version, it's a... Uh, I mean, it'll be a shit ton of PHP and a lot of CSS, but the majority of it is uh, JavaScript, with, or jQuery to be exact. But uh, it adds a lot of functionality to the game. But anyway, enough of me babbling on and on about this. Uh, let me get into uh, some of the changes that I've, I've made and stuff that I've completed. Um, the top right menu up here, you know, you'll have uh, different icons and stuff. The, uh, the little person, I, I, I don't know what that's actually supposed to be, but uh, I thought it looked like a sort of magical type thing, like a wizard or something, you know, a little icon, just something simple. But uh, that's where your spells are going to be located, and uh, I added a little minor change to it, and you know, it'll show uh, the HP that you'll gain, and you, know, you still won't be able to use them in fights or anything like that, only when you're out. But uh... The icon next to it, the little globe, is uh, all your your town locations that you can teleport to. This is already done as well. Like I'm in Ragnarok right now. Let's say I want to go to Skelter. I just click on Skelter, and uh, gotta give it a second. This is uh, the screen recorder doesn't like this new uh, new template or anything. I had to play with it for about 10 minutes just to get the background to show up too. It was just black. Or light gray or something. It was, it was annoying. The uh, the mail, you know, it'll be a new notification system for the mail. And uh, right now, I don't have any unread mails. But when you do get a mail, you know, the the mail icon up here, the envelope, it'll turn green, and it'll display up to uh, four. If you have more than four new mails, it'll just show four until you get below four. You can set it higher, but yeah, four is you know, decent enough. If you got 400 mails, you know, it's, it's about time to start reading some, you yeah. know. And then uh, I added an achievement thing up here, you know, you can see uh, daily boss fights, normal and boss battle towers, and account bonus, you know, it'll show a percentage complete as you uh, do each one. Um, then your coin balances will be underneath the Bitcoin icon. I am going to change the icons next to each coin to, you know, be representative to the coin itself. It'll be, like, Litecoin will be the Litecoin image, Dogecoin will be Dogecoin, and so forth, so on. The profile menu, you know, this will be where you log in and log out at and everything. The menu options will change, like, uh, if you're logged out, you won't see, uh, the achievements, mail, and stuff like that. You'll just be able to see the coins offered in-game, no balances or anything, and profile thing, it'll just be login or register. And now I do have the login system and logout system completely working. I don't have the uh, stuff like reset your password or request a new password or register. I don't have that, you know, coded in yet. But I mean, I've just been doing stuff in parts. Like I do a little work on the chat, you know. I do a little work in town. I do a little work on, you know, any anything. Cause there's a lot here. I mean, I've got, I've got a lot of work. This won't be something that's done, you know, anytime soon. So don't 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 be expecting it too much, or too too soon rather. Um, chat is now uh, it auto updates every three seconds. There won't be any settings to. Uh, to disable chat refresh or disable chat like there is now is going to be there um it'll be in this exact location it might be a little bit smaller a bit a little bit bigger it all depends you know on what comes next or anything but i mean it'll, it'll be there chat i'm saving saving it i'll do a little 
a little here, a little there, because there's a lot of code with the chat, and to get my chat bots working, and the commands and everything, you know, that, that'll take a while. Um, the town, the, the town info, or town screen is going to change, and uh, the way it'll work is you'll have the picture of the, the image, or the picture of the town building, then you'll have a link to the, to the building, and then uh, a little button here for information, when you click the information, a pop-up will will come up with a little description of it, you know, the town info building will give you a short backstory on this town as well as provide you with a quest, and uh, so, if, like, town info is pretty much done, I might add graphics later to it or not, I'm not sure, I don't think so, but uh, this is that JavaScript at work, you know, fading in, fading out to the next uh, tab and everything, but all that's good, it's all working, um, the blacksmith, you know, it's it's gonna get a little redesigned on it as well. Like, uh, let's go to the gold store. They're all three are set up. You can't buy it, the equipment and everything in it yet. I mean, you can click on it, but it won't do nothing. I haven't got to that that part yet. I just got the uh, the interface done to it, but uh, it's nice. You know, you'll be able to flip pages and stuff in this if there's more than 10 items in a town you know you can search for an item you can order these items by whatever um let's see uh let's go back to town real quick the uh the hp mp tp bars you know they'll they'll uh they'll no longer expand when they get really low or whatever um you can hover over the progress bars or not progress bar that's what they are but the HPMP TP bars you can hover over them and they'll display how much your current HP current MP etc is um, I've, I've completed the bank the bank is fully operational now you can uh, it's basically similar to uh, how it is in game right now just a little different look um, see I have a thousand gold on me so I want to deposit 1000 in or I don't want to withdraw it, so let's click deposit, complete transaction. Oh, I got an error. Somebody is spamming the game right now. Hold on one second, I will find out who they are. I have warned so many times, and I just sent out a recent mail, too. I can't backspace out of this? Okay, there we go. Hold on one second. Let me... I'll go ahead and keep talking, because I won't be able to see what I'm doing anyway, but, uh... A lot of stuff's being redone. And uh, to be more efficient and just modern, because I mean, the way the game is now, it's it's an old game. It's based off of old stuff, and uh, it's I mean it's nice. It's it's not too bad. Yeah, just checking the records now, and I'll do that again in a bit. When I get that message, you know that that really makes me mad. You know, it really does, because there's no reason why you should, you know, anybody should be spamming shit in the game. You know, click it once, let it load, be done with it. You know, don't don't sit there and just spam. You know, that's it's no, don't don't do it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, what else have I done? Battle towers. I haven't actually got the insides of these done. This is just a uh, like an intro to the towers but uh those will be you know all in good time you know it'll take, <coughs> it'll take a little bit um I got the avatar where you can change your avatar I have that set up now and you can input your your image URL and change it it'll display it'll show it and give you the URL you currently have in case you want to use it you know for something else you'll have the URL where it's loaded into uh in my server the left side menu, you know, I'm, I'm gonna add more to it, but it's it's interactive, you know, drop down and stuff like that, you know, multiple layers and stuff. The template I'm using is uh, Bootstrap 3, so it's really nice. Honestly, though, I prefer the original Bootstrap because it just it's it has a lot more options and stuff. It's it's easier to use. This I'm I'm basically learning how to use this as I go, but it's same thing, same concept. You know, it has a little little better options, I guess, in certain areas like icons and stuff. They have uh, font awesome and glyphicon icons that I can use and everything like that. It'll help. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Let's see. I don't have most of that. 
see my coin balances. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. There's, there's more that I've done. Like, uh, oh, shoot, I, I, I don't know. I know I've, I've got a bunch of other stuff done. I just haven't, uh, let's see. Got the teleports done. Got the achieve well, I haven't worked on the achievements yet, but, uh, It'll be in another video for sure. I just don't off the top of my head because one of my cats is sick. Just worried about him. So it's a uh, lost track. But uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoy this, uh, these updates here that I'm posting. And I hope you all look forward to uh, actually taking part in it. So uh, I'll see you all in the next video.